Hello everyone, new name here, playing his favorite game, Watch Your Realms. And I'm doing a three-part series to show people easy strategies that I recall anyways from when I achieved this Vanquisher. Because everybody definitely wants to get a free Legendary for just progressing in the game regardless. And in this video, it's going to be Gear Raid 2 Stage 18. And I'm going to show you a method that maybe you didn't think about. And if you're watching this video, you're going to share it. And I really hope that you do, especially within like your guild. Okay. So I'm going to show you first so that there's full transparency, who I use and what they wear. Okay. So I'm going to show you my two tanks. I have some serious tanks available. We're not going to use them. Oleg's available for anybody. Okay. You get him in Void Rift. He's not wearing an artifact. He's also not wearing tank gear. This is a fracture set. All right. So it doesn't provide him any real bonus as a tank. The stats are good. That's why it's on them. Okay. And I'm purposely using sets that you can get from stage 18 and under only. So if there's a red dot on artifact, it means there is no artifact. Okay. So Baron here, he's in a really good set. I normally put on broke here. I, I have to put something on so that the tanks survive. And remember that most important in this gear rate to stage 18 strategy i'm showing you is your tanks are geared two out of the four healers we're going to bring are geared and your main dps is geared it was something okay so that was the tanks so now i'm going to show you the main damage that i'm going to bring and it's going to be idril and you're looking here and it's like the heck is this maybe it's how your account looks currently because you're just starting to progress so none of these are sets as you can see that okay here's your total stats I can't help that there's some boost from my Pantheon, okay? I like I can't help the collection. It's on there. I can't take it off. She's an Awakened 5, 6-star. Too bad. It's the best that I can do. I'm sorry. But I purposely gave her an artifact that only gives a benefit when she hasn't taken damage. In Gear Raid 2, Stage 18, you take tick damage constantly. So she's always going to be hit. And the only bonus she's getting is this HP and attack from a level one pin of precision, all right? Now I'm gonna show you the healers that I'm bringing. Sorry, uh, I apologize for that. The Elowen is the greatest healer in the game. <laughs> so she's not coming, it's not welcome. Simple artifact, it does, it's actually not a good artifact whatsoever, but if you don't have anything else, like it's nice to have mythics, okay? And the gear, again, the only thing you, is this from stage 19, you can get it, okay? but if you look at it there's no attack speed <clears throat> excuse me in this chest there's not even a main stat okay so that's vortex here's hollow and again it's the same stuff all right and she's got a crap artifact it's it's you might think it's good when you first starting out and it is because these are some nice cheap not to have to upgrade gain stat boost all right and then we're going to bring medan here who's not fully promoted she's not a six star okay She's got level one artifact. Yes, you'll see these rings and you're like, well, wait a second, but it's a defensive bonus. And look at these stats. None of these are real healer stats, okay? Crit damage, what the heck, right? So this is, I just brought it. It's a decent item or whatever, but look at the rolls on this, okay? So it's not like I've put overpowered gear on Medan. And if you take a look here, she's HP based healing. So a crit damage main stat ring, does not help her. The Sandy, no artifact. Asclepius, okay, this is Asclepius gear. It's a Greek god's son who is like the inventor of medicine and well being and health and healing, okay? So that's Asclepius, and you can get that from stage 16 in gear rate three. Now, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna bring a naked wrath except for his artifact, okay? And I don't know about you, I don't want to see a Naked Wrath at any time. He's pretty spooky with gear on. But Naked Wrath with only a little lunacy visor. Okay? Then just as a supplementary damage dealer, I'm going to bring in a 5-star Voltus that we all get to start the game. 5-star, not fully promoted. Level 1 Skull, unfortunate Skull. His stats, whatever, okay? He's not that strong, even if you give him that gear that I have on him which you can get from everywhere at stage 18 or less, except for this bangle. So let's get into it, okay? Transparency's over. This is how easy and achievable 
Gear 8 2 stage 18 is for almost any account. I can't see people having a difficulty with it. Having four healers, two solid tanks. You don't even need a strong DPS. As you saw what I did to my Idril. For more transparency, the power of dominance, off. Let's get into this. And I remember when I first had this fight, I'm like, I'm so fortunate that I had Elowin. Okay. If you don't have an Elowin and you have a Vortex and a Medan and an Oleg, I suggest you bring any Northern Lord that you can. This Northern Lord bonus that you see is going to give everybody 5%, whatever, it's something. But the periodically granting of the shield for 10%, it's going to help your people sustain. Because while they have a shield, even the boss throwing tantrums and that tick damage has to break the shield first before your heroes lose actual health. So the first hero I place down is Vortex, and you'll see how I've faced him down. So that he's, I'm going to do what I call the healer sandwich. And they're going to take care of everybody on the wings together by keeping them in the middle. And the reason you bring four healers is that they're going to heal each other. So if nobody is low, then Vortex will just tap them every time they get this tick damage from the storm. And the overheal is going to give them a shield. Okay. Now, the other thing about this fight is it has nothing to do with speed. And you saw the gear I had on my Idril. It has nothing to do with overpowered DPS. It's all about endurance and survival. So I'm not going to put anybody down until the boss shows up, acts like a jerk, asserts his dominance, and then I'm going to crush his ass. And you're going to be able to, too. Okay? So the boss is going to walk out, and he's going to do three cycles of two King Donkey Kong, sorry, and then a big slam. So after the third big slam is when you bring your DPS out. Notice how I pop my ultimate from Vortex during the boss's ultimate, okay? So now my Idril, who's my main DPS, she comes out. Then I stick in my second tank, who is Baron. You might not have a Baron, but you can use a properly geared Wrath, who isn't naked, to do the same thing. Or any tank that you have, just make sure that they have high HP, okay? So, we bring in a third healer now, <clears throat> excuse me, Medan, okay? And you saw how low Idril got because she took a rock. If I put Medan down sooner, Medan would have been hit instead of your DPS because the rock guys always target the last placed platformer, okay? So now Nisani's going to come in, and she's probably going to die to the slams, even though she's being covered by a hollow and a vortex, all right? But you'll see how that healer sandwich works. See how everybody's constantly getting a shield? So now this earth shape is coming. So I'm going to pop some alternates to make sure that nobody dies. Okay. The idea is, is to always have your ultimates going or available for when the boss is doing his ultimate. Okay. And it, it, you see, it's still a struggle for me. And that's a six star hero. If I put on my powerful gear or whatever, everybody, they would have just been totally trashed, okay? So I'm going to show you what happens if I put Voltus. Even if I put Voltus in this area, okay? This rock guy is going to knock his rock or knock his block right off. And it's not going to help you, okay? But since he had that tick damage from the storm just before they threw their rocks, he got the shield. See how he's being targeted? Because he was the last platformer. So you got to bear that in mind, that when he dies, whoever you place last on the platform is the next target. So that's going to be my Medan here, all right? So you can bring somebody like Voltus that's just cannon fodder for that purpose, all right? So as you're seeing, I'm not really doing anything other than making sure everybody stays alive. Now on this phase, again, the boss is going to get all uppity, so I'm going to make sure that he can't hurt me the best of my abilities. Notice how I haven't brought the fourth healer Nisandi back yet. Okay. Or Nisandai. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. So the boss is done. He's going to walk up on, he's got no more tantrums left up here. I think it's been a while since I've been in here, but by the time the boss comes, yeah, now he's, he's pissed off, right? Your main DPS has hopefully done what mine has and essentially killed all those bad guys. 
okay? All those little minions. Now I bring in the fourth healer. Now, just in case your main tank dies, I take off this tank, okay? Here comes Naked Oleg, or Naked Wrath, doing his best to not die in the storm. And again, it's not important how fast you kill this boss. If you can kill him before he starts these slams, of course it matters, but I can't. So he's going to do 16 slams. So the idea is I start cycling through the healers on their ultimates. Okay. So by the time one ultimate is finished on the healers, there's still three going. And then he'll be done his slams by the time that there's two ultimates left. So this fight is all about surviving. As long as you can survive to this phase where he finishes these slams, he never slams again. That's it. Now you can drop whatever other DPS you brought. And you're looking at my Voltus, okay? He's doing 1,500 damage. He's not doing anything, okay? It's all about whoever you put in the healer sandwich. That's who matters. That's who you build for this fight, all right? And once it's at this point, there's no more AOE coming from the boss. He's only going to focus whoever, whatever tank you have in front of him. Okay. You just make it, you survive. That's all you have to do. Okay. Whatever healers you got, you, you bring four healers. You can bring six healers. As long as you have two tanks and one DPS, you'll be able to complete this fight. Okay. And remember your strong tank. You want them in this lane because that's the one the boss is always going to walk down to. That's the four healer, healer sandwich strategy for gear rate two stage 18. And if you're into geology, you're not going to have to worry about bringing a real big pick hammer to break that rock. Okay. And as you see here, I got a cursed bangle and that's part of the items that I was already wearing. And let's look at the total, total damage just for curiosity. Okay. Like Voltus did a little bit, but that's not bad. Okay. Idril did everything. Wrath did nothing. All right, it's all about the healing. If you bring Vortex and enough support, you can do that probably with seven healers. As long as everybody's close to max health, anytime Vortex heals in just a little bit, the overheal is going to give them that shield, and you're going to get yourself that free legendary for completing all gear raids stage 18. I hope this guide has helped you. If it has, please share the information within your community and your guild chat if people are asking about it, okay? I wish you a happy new year. And thank you very much for watching the content. Take care. Be nice.